All right, um, so as you may have guessed, uh, having just lists or collections is not very useful um, because you want to be able to put some conditions on those. Uh, the way that we do this is using the keyword filter. And to do filters, it's kind of um, a little bit complicated because filters are so flexible because this just um, it's uh, how you build a query uh, in the in the back end from the front end. It's like a query language for the URL. So you do filter then an alias. I like to put the the name of the field like uh, I don't know maybe um, UI ID and then uh, you set the value word this is this is fixed and then as the value of this you put one of the values so this would do a list of all the articles that have a value in the UUID of this and hopefully this will yield only one article and since it yields only one article it will return just one user and one category or no category so you can see that it's still an array but there is only one because only one of those fit this filter in here and of course the includes still respect that and remember that this user didn't have a pre preference that's why we don't have another include here uh, <clears throat> this is the shortcut version of how you make uh, filters the expanded version is something like condition uh, filter value and since this can be anything uh, you can put a zero there uh, condition field UUID so the both calls are, are the same this is the expanded syntax because you can do something like let me copy this you can do something like operator and do less than imagine that this is um, the changed date and this is some some, oops, some timestamp you could get all of the articles that were changed before that timestamp and the, you can build um, you can build groups you can do very complicated um, queries and uh, there is an issue uh, in the issue queue that, that explains the syntax to, to build the, the queries and uh, yeah this is this is very powerful um, before I leave, I want to show how you can do something that is pretty amazing. I'm going to use the, the shorthand version of this value. And I'm going to say that the, this is the author. I would be putting um, a condition on the author, but I'm going to do a nested condition. So something like... I want to get all of the articles whose author name is test2. And did that work? Uh, yeah, we only get one and you can see that the name is test2. We can repeat that and say that the, the author name is admin and you can see that we get a different article and the user is the admin um you can see how much potential this this has because you don't have to place the conditions on the top entity type or the top bundle but you can drill down on the relationships and put conditions in there so uh, that is a pretty powerful